I know. I'm just driving. So we're just gonna jump right into this video here. Got the razor out. Got a couple things to do to this. I just got some speakers in for this thing finally to uh, get these things all wired up, installed. I'm not gonna film it. It's pretty boring. I'm just gonna get them wired in, test them out. I actually had some other ones before this that I had purchased, but come to find out they won't work because you need an amp, and I didn't know. I tried buying an amp from Walmart, this and that. Didn't work. These are junk, so I gotta return those. And then I also have some of these, like, under lights, whatever you wanna call it. A couple of those to go under the tires. Step is get these speakers mounted and done. Get going on this. So I got these things fully wired up. Wasn't too hard, honestly. I uh, brought everything through to the front. Got this actual unit um, I cut into the plastic so I can just turn it on and off from right here. Got another on off button in here. Then fire the thing up. Pretty simple. Honestly, for what they are, they sound pretty good. I might upgrade, get like a separate base unit, but 200 bucks, 300 bucks for the whole complete unit. They sound pretty good, so can't complain. And uh, if you wanna check them out, I'll leave a link below. I would do a sound clip, but I don't wanna get copyrighted on this video. The only downside to these is it doesn't actually go with the ride command, so you won't be able to control it through the actual unit itself and like skip and play music. You just have to do it from here or through your phone on Bluetooth. It's not a big deal to me, I don't really care. To be honest, you can't reach the ride command unit when you're harnessed in. You can't even, I can't reach it at least, so. It's not a big deal to me. Aside from the side-by-side, -side, we got some content on the 125. We got some new bling parts in for this thing from Fathead Racing. Along with for the RM125 build, so. We got a head, we got two different domes. This will be, I think the one in here stock. For the RM, I wanted to just do pump gas, 93. Um, just so it's easier. Always have to buy race gas for that thing. We got the new KX head. This is the new revised one. It's slimmer than the one that's on it. We'll uh, give you a little comparison. This one should fit a little bit better. People and I had issues with um, this original one fitting with the uh, brackets that they give you. Um, it works obviously, but it's just a little tight to uh, actually fit everything in there. So this one is a lot slimmer. New brackets, which I'll show you. Give a little comparison, little test run in the backyard on this thing. And you guys can hear this thing ripping around. I don't think I've had a video up with this thing other than revving it in the driveway. So highly recommend picking yourself up ahead. I noticed a huge difference on this um, from the stock head. It just gives you better hit, better power. Depends on what dome you get. I uh, prefer to have more mid to top power more than low end. So. That's the uh, dome that I have on here now. Want to get more responsive power in certain ranges in the power band, I'd highly recommend picking one up. I'll leave Fathead Racing's link in the description if you want to get one for yourself. Stayed on the RM125 build. This is pretty much the last of the parts I need. I have all the engine stuff in, new clutch, throttle stuff, guides, um, a couple little bling stuff, new lever for the KLX because this thing snaps, so we'll have that thing going shortly. Nonetheless, I'm gonna tear this thing down, get this head taken off, we'll get the new one on there and uh, test this thing out.
How fun this thing is. I haven't ridden it in so long. Thing is so much fun. All right, before we get any further, I want to thank Keeps for sponsoring this video. Keeps has revolutionized the way men are treated for hair loss. You didn't know, two out of three guys will experience some type of baldness by the time they're 35. Believe it or not, the best way to prevent it is to actually do something about it before you lose it all. And this is where Keeps comes in, providing you a treatment that's not going to break the bank. Like I said, Keeps has revolutionized the way men treat hair loss, delivering you the medication every three months and skipping all the awkward doctor visits and hassle to go to the pharmacy. So all you have to do is talk to a doctor online and they just ship it right to your door. So prevention is key. You have to act fast because treatments can take up to four to six months if you want to see results. So the sooner you start, the more hair you're going to save. So thank you again to Keeps for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check it out for yourself and get 50% off your first order, you can go to keeps.com slash Tyler Monaghan or top link in the description. Once again, that's keeps.com slash Tyler Monaghan if you want to get started today. So there you have it. Broke a sweat from ripping around doing some wheelies in the lawn. But as you can tell, this thing is running really good right now. Honestly, like the best it's ever ran, just mobbing it around the lawn. Like I said, if you want to check out Fathead Racing, the link will be linked below, along with Lectron with their new H-Series carb. That thing helping out tremendously. Also, I'm going to get Electron. I have them available on my website. Um, if you want to get one ordered for your two-stroke, best upgrade for your two-stroke alongside the head to uh, get the best throttle response. Bolt it on, ride it. Don't have to deal with jetting. And as you can tell, this thing is running so good right now. Hopefully it sounded pretty good ripping around in the lawn, tearing up the grass. Try not to piss off the neighbors too much. I'm doing it back and forth all day, but so stoked with how this thing came out so far. And now it seems like it's pulling even harder from like first, second, third, all the way through. Like the thing just wants to lift up and wheelie the whole time if you couldn't tell. And then does not want to stay on the ground. I almost feel like it pulls as hard or harder than my 250, to be honest with you. I want to try and ride both back to back to really compare it. But I feel like the two stroke, maybe because it hits harder off the initial, like getting on it, like once you hit the power band. Nonetheless, everything's good to go. Checked it over, nothing's leaking. Be good to go to ride this thing at the track here soon or my own track here soon once I get uh, the dozer over to the property. I wanted the next couple videos to be that, but this week um, the dozer wasn't available, so it got pushed back to next week. So I have a dozer for one full week next week. So expect a bunch of track building vlogs, pit bike track, big track, side-by-side -side stuff. Expect a lot of content next week and following with uh, doing track build stuff and testing stuff out. and first ride on this thing once I get that built um, for my own stuff because I want to wait. It's hard to go to the like public track and public practice to uh, get like just footage of the bike and nothing else in the background. That's what I want. So I'm going to wait for that to get like a good solid video. Speaking of Electron, they just sent me over another H series for the RM125 build. Huge thank you to Electron, always supporting all the builds. And uh, like I said, Pick yourself up Electron if you have a two-stroke. I don't know why you haven't yet. Things are trick looking and they make your bike run a hundred times better. Aside from that, look at this thing put away. Unfortunately, I want to keep riding it, but I don't care right now. I would just ride it around the lawn all day. It's so much fun, but I'm gonna put it away, not piss off the neighbors like I said too much. And uh, we'll probably go ride the Supermoto around or something. All right, now that we got the uh, 125 taken care of and done, go rip the 450L around, get this thing warmed up. Oh, what do you know? I already need gas. Things on the gas light. Every time I turn this thing on, I feel like. <laughs> Go ride around before it gets dark and check out my kids for the night. By kids, I meant goats, if you guys didn't know. Ryan and I and Joe, we all bought goats. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? Couldn't even wait for me to undo it all. All right, come on, get down. Oh, all right. All right, it should be good now. We'll go ride for a little bit.
way, uh, Justin and I, Justin, Mike, and I made our way downtown, cruising around. We're in this uh, parking garage area. No, he didn't. See how loud this thing is going back down? couple clips was on the supermoto I didn't get too much before it got dark but uh this was filmed before which is placed before the supermoto stuff that made sense you saw me talking about this before you know in the comments what else you want to see if you guys are new you want to see more two show content more build stuff make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the rm125 build and kx build as i get more stuff in and follow the app project two strokes instagram account along with my own at tyler monaghan to stay up to date on everything if you want to see the track build um before the videos come out i'm going to post everything on like my instagram stories but nonetheless like i said if you guys are new subscribe like the video and i'll see you guys in the next one